Hola, científicos. How are all of you today? Why not? It sounds like we're generally doing well. I'm having a great day. I did a lot of research yesterday so I can learn more about germs. Did any of you learn anything about germs from the scientists in your homes? Oh, that's very interesting. I hope you were able to record that in your notebook. I actually want to take some time to share my entry from yesterday. I wrote them like notes, so they're not really sentences. So let's go over what I wrote. So I have the question, why do we have to wear our masks like that? And the notes I took are, germs are bacteria, viruses, fungi, and protozoa. They spread through air and liquids, and they can't be seen. Did any of you write some of the same things that I wrote? Ah, these are some interesting facts that we've learned. Well, scientists, today we're going to continue our research by making some observations. I want us to use our sense of sight to observe some images of the coronavirus through a microscope. Now, we can't observe these, observe these through our own microscopes, but looking at images is another good way to do that. Before we get started, though, I wanted to show you an illustration made by a scientist at the CDC. That's the Center for Disease Control and, Pre and Prevention. While you're looking at it, I want you to think about what parts of A, B, C, D, E you see. What did you notice, scientists? Remember, A, B, C, D, E means accurate, big, colorful, detailed, and explained. See, I noticed the same thing. All of the components were there except one. We can't be sure if this is accurate. I mean, we haven't seen the actual virus for ourselves, scientists. But don't worry, I anticipated my observ observant scientificos to notice something like this. And I found an image on the CDC website that actually shows you the virus. Let's take a moment to observe it and see for ourselves. The blue circles are supposed to be the virus. Look for the little squiggles around them too. Could you see them? If you're watching this online, you can go back and pause at that image to continue making observations. But I wanted to know if anybody saw the squiggles. Bueno, some of you did. The other image showed us with a label that those are proteins. But when doing my research, I learned that they also give the coronavirus their name. Because they go all around the virus, they look like a halo or a crown. And corona actually means crown. So corona comes from the proteins surrounding the circle. Or I guess it's actually a sphere. But hmm, scientists, I think it's time for us to take out our notebooks and drawing utensils so we can really see if that illustration from earlier is accurate. And I think it's also good to have a sketch in our notebooks. I picked out what I'm going to draw ahead of time and you can follow along with me. I'll give you a moment to take out all of your materials. A writing utensil. All right, bueno scientists, remember I'm using a poster paper so it's easier for you to follow along, but I want all of you to continue using your notebooks. So what do we always include in our science notebook entries? Eso, the date and the page number. I'm going to do that. Make sure to follow along with me. January 26th. 2021, and I'm on page six. Buenísimo trabajo, científicos. Our title for this page should be Viruses Sketch. You can put this into your table of contents later. Viruses. Viruses sketch. Okay, now we're ready to sketch. I need to remember my A, B, C, D, E's. Be accurate, make it big, colorful, detailed, and explain it if you need to. You can copy me, and we'll also have, but we'll also have the image displayed for you so that you can look at it and make observations. All right. Oh, since there's some blue, I'm gonna need blue, and I have black. I'm gonna pick one virus to observe. Okay, so 
I see. So I start with a blue circle. Mmm, there's the squigglies. So they look kind of gray, grayish black. Mm, mm hmm Kind of reminds me of a blue tomato. Because it has like little, looks like what are seeds inside. Not quite. Mm. And then there was more gray splotches around it. And there's another virus over here in this corner, but I'm not gonna finish drawing it. Scientificos, I recommend colored pencils for you. Remember, I use markers so that you can see what I'm drawing. But it will be a lot easier with colored pencils because I can't color lightly. Hmm. Wow. That's actually a little bit more challenging, but I'm starting to see that illustration that the scientists made was pretty accurate. What do you all think? Hmm, you're right. The one thing that was different was the color. I wonder why that was different. You know what I realized about my sketch though? It doesn't have any labels or explanations. I'm going to point to the squiggles and write proteins, and I'm going to write COVID-19 on the side so I remember which virus it is. Ugh. Proteins. COVID-19 virus. All right, great. Now I've got the A, B, C, D, E's in my sketch, and I think we determined that the illustration by the scientists from the CDC also had the A, B, C, D, E's, for the most part. Scientists, what was the most interesting thing that you learned today? Oh, that was really interesting. I'm glad that stuck with you. Well, today made me so much more curious. Now I'm wondering how germs really spread. I just don't get it. I think I'll do some research tonight. I'm sure many of you have more questions now that we're learning more and more. We're out of time for today, but I'm hoping to find an experiment for us to do so we can learn more about germs tomorrow. Nos vemos.